while the eyes of the world are on the as of late discharged JFK death records, confirm connecting Bill and Hillary Clinton to the demise of John F. Kennedy Jr. is being hidden where no one will think to look by people with significant influence. How about we rapidly rewind to 1999? Moving toward the finish of two terms in the White House, the Clintons started getting ready for their political future. They concentrated their consideration on creating Hillary as an abnormal state lawmaker, despite the fact that she had no understanding, and offering impact while they had it. Purchase now, pay later. Payable to what might turn into the Clinton Foundation. Hillary declined to come back to Arkansas and proposed the buy of a home in New York which would enable her to keep running for the Senate in the forthcoming race. There was only one snag. JFK Jr. had entered the political scene. New York was electric with expression of JFK Jr. recovering his father's heritage. A bit of Camelot was as yet alive in America, and huge dollar contributors started arranging to help the child of the previous president. Hillary knew she would never vanquish the child of JFK let alone in New York. Be that as it may, Hillary Clinton isn't effectively foiled. I'm not backpedaling to Arkansas. PM News reports, during a typical flight, at 9.20 p.m., July 16, 1999, John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr. radioed the pinnacle at an airplane terminal close to Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts declaring that he was getting ready to arrive. Seconds after the fact, his plane detonated in midair. The blast saw by a few people, including a nearby daily paper journalist and a lawyer. Baggage was recuperated miles from the crash site, an occasion that must be caused by a midair blast. Five hours after the plane went down, William Bill Clinton conveyed what might as well be called the Sixth Fleet to discover the destruction, conceal it, and the bodies from the Snoopy media, and however, JFK Jr. was never in the Navy and however the families did not assent. He requested the incineration of the bodies, and tossed the fiery remains into the ocean in a hurriedly masterminded Navy memorial service. No photos were allowed of the recouped bodies. Kennedy's crisis locator was evacuated, the cockpit recorder was debilitated, and the flight log was taken, which is all archived in the official examination report. Off-camera, a main story was devised. The climate which was flawless, by one means or another ended up plainly stormy. JFK Jr. presently had a gimpy leg, and Kennedy was enthusiastic. Reports by the FAA and FBI, both closing injustice was included, were covered, and all asks prompted deadlocks. In truth, all reports affirm that JFK Jr. was sincerely steady and a profoundly gifted and watchful pilot. The Kennedy family was enraged. New York was grief-stricken. The sum total of what confirm had been annihilated or consumed by official summon. She executed him, I know she did, said a Kennedy staff member who made a request to stay mysterious. The Clintons purchased their home in New York, shaped the Clinton Foundation, and Hillary won her Senate situate. 